Okay, I think we're going live, Julie. I'm going to pretend like we are. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. This is uh, Sharon Thornton from Free Spirit Fabrics, and we are here today with Julie Herman of Jaybird Quilts. So really excited to have Julie here with us this week. Um, she is going to be talking about the Nebula uh, Block of the Month that Free Spirit and Julie collaborated on together. Uh, Julie designed and created and made the beautiful quilt that is behind her. And um, I'm not even really sure if everybody can see us together or just me at this point. So I'll let you know as soon as I know. <laughs> but um, anyways, uh, Julie did a beautiful job in this block of the month. And we would like to show everybody this quilt uh, because the order by date is August 1st. And we want to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to order it that would like to order it. Um, you can only order this through your local quilt shop. So after you see this Inspired by series, please uh, reach out to your local quilt shop and tell them that you would like to make it if you are interested in making it because that's the only way that you can order it. Um, hold on one second, I'm getting some, oh, they can see both of us, Julie, so. All right, fantastic, <laughs> I'm checking so, as well. <laughs> yes, so uh, everyone can see that quilt behind you. And at some point here, I'm gonna switch over to just you, but while I'm talking, I'm gonna have us both up. So as you can see, Julie has a gorgeous quilt behind her. She's gonna talk about that quilt and some other um, newer pieces she's created, as well as some vintage pieces she's created. And uh, I think it's gonna be a fun program today. We welcome all of you. Please send us hearts, please send us thumbs up. Uh, let us know where you're from. We will have a giveaway at the end. Um, so, oh, we didn't talk about that, Julie. You're gonna have to think of that off the cuff. We'll, we'll, we'll get there, something will come out of what the question's gonna be for the grand winner. <laughs> so anyways, the quilt that I have behind me is Night Sky. This one was also made and uh, created by Julie. This, uh, both of these quilts were quilted by Teresa Silver. Is that correct, Julie? Yeah, yeah that so is. Teresa Sil uh, uh, Silver, I'm from New England, so I say Silva. Sil <laughs> she uh, quilted both the quilts and uh, they're both gorgeous, but we are going to focus on Nebula to start off here. And uh, we appreciate everybody being here today. So I'm gonna switch the screen and Julie, you are going to be on to, to talk to anybody. Confirmation that we're live because I haven't gotten that confirmation yet. Yes, I've gotten confirmation that we're live. <laughs> Okay. Oh, and that's the other thing I wanted to talk about. Um, oh, well, there's some people from Arizona, Michigan, Alaska, Florida, Indiana, they're all coming through. Um, Rachel will be, uh, if there are any questions, uh, I can't say Rachel's last name, so I'm not gonna try to. Okay. Um, Rachel's gonna be answering questions on behalf of Jaybird Quilts. And Liz Doherty, who is the sales manager for Free Spirit Fabrics, will be answering questions on behalf of Free Spirit. Um, and then we also have Lindsay, who's in charge of our social media. She will be on and listening. And Sarah is also on listening on behalf of Free Spirit. So we hope to have everybody covered with all the questions. And oh, we have somebody from Guatemala. So we've got people from all over, Julie, Washington. Awesome. So off to you. I don't want to take up all your time. Everybody doesn't want to hear me talk. They want to see what you have to offer. So um, I'm going to switch the camera so it will just be you unless one of us is talking. Okay. All righty. So welcome, Julie. We are so happy to have you. And yeah, you. start welcome, telling everybody. us all about the Nebula quilt. All right. Yes. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Um, excited to be here. So for those of you who aren't very familiar with me, my name is Julie and uh, my company is Jaybird Quilts. I started my pattern company uh, 10 years ago now. Um, and have more patterns that I can count and books and block of the months and fun things and Nebula is the newest and um, that's the priority of the main thing I'm here to, to show you and tell you all about today and answer questions. Yeah, if you have questions, go ahead and put them in there. Um, Rachel Pennypacker, um, who works with me, will be there to answer them on our behalf and then there are free spirit people if it's free spirit related question and um, some of them um, Sharon might throw back at me to answer live. So if you have questions, please go ahead and answer, um, ask them. I'm tied here. Uh, so Nebula, um, block of the month that we um, will, will begin shipping in January, which I know feels like forever away, but I'm sure it'll be here quicker than we know it. 
and the August deadline that Sharon gave is for shops to order. So, you know, if a shop has X number of people, they might order only a couple extra kits. So if you know you want to do it, sign up sooner than later because shops may not order too many extra. Um, you might be able to sign up at a shop later than August, but shops themselves need to place their orders with Free Spirit by August. So want to give you guys heads up on those deadlines and whatnot so you can make sure you don't miss out if you want to be a part of this. Uh, so Nebula, the one behind me is queen size. There are going to be three options in the pattern, but the kit itself and that most shops are doing is the queen size, which is 96 by 96. Um, and it's 18 blocks. All three sizes are going to have the same 18 blocks. And I have to show you, for instance, everything's fat eights. So for instance, this is going to be your fabric for month one. It's eight fat eights. It's a mix of homemade um, Tula Pink solids and Tula Pink true colors. This first month happens to be true colors and solids. So it's those eight fabrics. Every month you're going to make two blocks. Uh, it's really one pattern, one block, and you're going to make it twice out of different colorways. So you're going to make a blue one and an orange one um, in month one. And I'll show you those blocks. So that's, that's these blocks. And um, I'm going to talk about my rulers in a little bit. Um, all of the blocks are made with my rulers. There is full size template option, um, but everything is cut super, super easy with the rulers. And these ones specifically are made with the hexamore ruler. Um, so I'm going to say so a lot. Apologize. It's really weird for me. I said this the last time I had to do this, that there's like no I know you're there, the audience, but you're not here with me. So I like don't have that feedback. I've learned that I'm not a good news anchor. I'm much more like Jimmy Kimmel or Jimmy Fallon. Like I need that laughter and that back and forth and this video thing world that we're <laughs> made that very strange for me. Julie, so, you're doing don't... great. Don't worry. <laughs> I feel like I'm just talking into outer space. My, my no, wall... could I just do a little summary of what you've said so far? Absolutely. So, so far, Julie has uh, talked to us, uh, you know, about this block of the month. And so basically there's nine blocks, as she said, in total, but there are, wait, nine total, I've, I'm messing this up already, Julie. So there are nine blocks in the center of that for a total of 18. So you're making two of the same block, but they're not two of the same blocks, like two blocks that are the same are in fact in two different colors. So they look entirely different. And so if you are interested in making the, the kit that we are selling through Free Spirit is only the queen. And as Julie said, the pattern will offer the uh, throw size and a king size as well. And the center star remains the same. So what changes in this is the background. So just yeah. wanna make sure everybody knows and that there are two rulers that Julie's gonna talk about that make this quilt. So I uh, wanted to share that. I wanted to show this gorgeous bundle of fabric, part of the Tula True Colors uh, line of fabric. It's really gorgeous. And I want to get back to Julie. Yeah, so I know the fabric <laughs> started shipping. So um, shops should be getting them. And I'm sure plenty of you have already pre-ordered them and got your hands on them. It's so hard to see the vibrancy and the quality of these True Color prints until you get them in your hands. I fell in love with them when I had seen pictures, but when I got them in my hands was um, a whole nother ball game for me. And that's actually when the idea for this quilt came to be. Um, I kind of had parts of this quilt in my back of my mind and sketched out, but when I physically got the True Colors fabrics in my hands, it was just like, I was a kid in a candy shop and I was just playing. And that's when um, this all came to be. And um, like I said, I rounded out by adding in um, Tula's original True Colors, which is her palms and stripes and her solids, and then a couple pieces from Homemade. And as Sharon just mentioned, there are three sizes. So I'm going to show you pictures. So if you look, the king just adds more background, same star, and then the lap has less background. So you don't actually need to decide um, which size you're making from day one. You can just go ahead and start making the blocks, and then you can make your decision on which size final you wanna make later in the program. Um, the shops all have the information on how much extra yardage you need for the king and you have more than enough for the large lap. And if you are a shop that's watching this, I did a similar video a couple months ago 
um, that Sharon will tell you where to find. But if you have questions and you're a shop, um, please send me an email, send Rachel an email, reach out to your rep and have, let them direct you to me. Um, we have lots of information, including a shop guide that we have put together for shops to help you run this. And that's not what I'm talking about today, but I want you to know that's out there. So if you need that, please reach out to us. We have that for you. Um, so as, Julie, excuse yeah. me, Julie. Some of the uh, viewers are asking if the, uh, the kit includes the background. So the answer yes. is yes, right? Yes. So the kit includes everything you see behind me, top background binding, does not include backing as most kits don't usually include. Um, but it includes everything for the quilt top, background, binding, um, good question. And it does include the pattern as well. So quickly go over the pattern. If you're familiar with my patterns or my previous block of months, everything I do is full color, fully illustrated. Um, that's my background. I'm obsessive about presentation of information. I started writing patterns um, as an employee in a quilt shop. I was in charge of rewriting the patterns that had mistakes in them to help customers. And that's how I realized I was really good at this. Maybe I should just give myself a little try of this. And then 10 years later, here I am. Um, so uh, most you do of my a block great of job, Julie. Thank you. <laughs> most of my block of the months previously have been books and a full book. This one, because of the way that we're putting it out with Free Spirit and the shipments and the shops, it is more of a pattern size, but it's super thick. And in here is 11 different pieces. There is an introduction booklet that gives you all of the basic cutting information, how to use the rulers, about the 18 blocks, whatnot. Then there are nine individual pieces in the middle uh, that go over each of the nine months of the nine blocks. And if you're familiar with my patterns, you know my minis, which I'll show some of, it, they're about the size of my Jaybird minis. And then there is a finishing book, which is super thick. It's more than twice the size of the first book. And that has all of the finishing information for the large lap, the queen, the king, how to make all the background blocks, Finding all that good stuff. So, oh, okay. So, Julie, I'm sorry, I have to interrupt. There seems to be some confusion with some of our viewers. So, um, Jackie Sherman is asking if you can show the two drawings again. So, I'm assuming that that means uh, the different sizes yes. of the quilts. So, the kit is going to be the queen size kit. If you order the kit through your local quilt shop, you will be receiving the fabrics um, in three monthly installments. And Julie has, oh, actually Julie with me talking, they can't see it. So I'll stop talking so that you can see this, this uh, screen. So these are the two sizes. This is the king, this is the large lap, the queen is behind me. And you can also find these pictures um, on my Facebook and my Instagram. So if you wanna see them again after I'm not holding them. And as Sharon said, the kit from Free Spirit is the queen size, uh, but shops have the information so that if you need the additional yardage to make the king, um, they will hopefully be able to assist you in purchasing that additional yardage. This is more of a bonus, just kind of letting people know, as I found um, in the past with previous things, if you have a king bed, you don't want to make a queen. You have a queen bed, you don't want to make a king, so forth and so on. So I like to give options when available and when they make sense within a quilt design, and it made sense here. So... And then some people don't have a giant bed or don't need a giant bed quilt, but they really want to make it. And that's when this large lap will be super, super fun to make and have on your couch or wherever as a throw. Um, but don't feel like you can't do it just because it's queen. So that's what these options are. Does that answer that, hopefully? I hope so. <laughs> okay. No um, yeah, I think that there was just a little confusion on that. But viewers, like like I uh, said, if you have any questions when we are done with this, you can reach out to Jaybird or you can reach out to your lo local quilt shop, um, you know, to, to purchase the kit uh, for this. All right, Julie, I want you to start talking about your rulers. No problem. So um, my rulers, the, the quick little background on my rulers is I love hexagons and 60 degree shapes and triangles and whatnot. And if you're familiar with English paper piecing and most things like that, the measurement for hexagon is based off of one side. So you have a one inch paper piece, a two inch, so forth and so on. But triangle rulers are often measured from the point to the flat side. If you know anything about geometry, those two angles don't play really well. So I switched it up and instead of measuring my hexagon on a side, I measure it flat side to flat side. So 
what my ruler does is it cuts hexagons in four shapes, two inch, four inch, six inch, eight inch, and everything works off of that. So to go with those hexagons, you have triangles that are four, three, two, one, and so forth and so on. Um, and then the, so that's the hexamore, which was the first ruler I developed. And there are 20, 30, a lot of patterns that go with it. And I'm gonna show you a little trunk show, some other quilts and things. So if you're not familiar with the rulers and you're, or you're not comfortable or you're intimidated, you got six months and I'm gonna show you the, the fun, easy way of learning my rulers so that by January when Nebula is shipping, you are super, super confident in your skill set. The super sidekick I came out with later adds more shapes to the family, adds a diamond and a half triangle um, and in the same whole number increments so that everything fits together like a puzzle. Um, if you want to see these in use, um, head over to my uh, blog, which is jaybirdquilts.com. And I have YouTube videos that I have filmed for each one of my rulers that show you me cutting all the pieces. That being said, each ruler comes with its own full color directions and you have full color cutting directions in the Nebula pattern or in any other patterns that I'm gonna show you today. Like that's a tongue twister. Yes, so there are, there are patterns and directions available in multiple places because as I said, I started out correcting patterns that were wrong and I don't want you to struggle the way that my customers in the shop I worked at struggled or that I struggled. So I try and provide as clear and concise information as possible. So that's, awesome. so, and the, in my family of rulers, you might, if you're familiar with them, I, there are four, there's a mini little keychain ruler. And then there is also the original sidekick ruler. And one common question that has come up is Nebula calls for the super sidekick, which is the big mamma jamma and not the sidekick. And people are questioning and wondering, I already have a sidekick. Do I really need this? And the answer is all depends on how much work you want to do. You can get through the blocks with the sidekick. You need the super sidekick for the background. If you're not, you can wait many months to purchase it or you can make templates. I have full size templates included in the pattern. So you could go ahead and buy no rulers if you're not interested in the rulers. They make life easier, but I don't wanna require you to buy them. You can make templates for the larger shapes um, with from the pattern and not buy the super sidekick if you already own the sidekick. You know, with everything going on in the world, the last thing I want to do is make you purchase something extra if you already have most of what you need. Um, but if you don't have any of them yet, the super sidekick is definitely the way to go because the super sidekick can do everything the sidekick can do and more. That makes sense, hopefully. Yes, yes, Sharon. Yes, totally makes sense. <laughs> Good. And, and I used your rulers uh, last summer and they were fantastic. So love this quilt. You've inspired me to make the quilt. So <laughs> I give that vote of confidence. Uh, so one fun bonus that's going on is that shops have the ability to order these really, really cool bags and labels. Um, so if you are interested in what I'm about to show you, reach out to the shop that you signed up in and say, hey, I want this. Um, so it is a classic project bag and I stuck a few blocks in here to show you. Um, and since these blocks are super large, you fold them in half to fit them in here, but then they fit perfectly. This is a super, super large project bag. And it's got lots of fun tool artwork printed on it. Um, and this is exclusive to this program. Shops can only order this um, if they're participating in this program. So it's one of those, get your hands on it or you might miss out. And I don't want you to miss out. Um, and Sharon can show you either now or later. She's got one that she put, I think 15 yards of fabric in, which is pretty impressive that it can hold. Yeah. I want to show them now since we're talking about it. So. Oh, okay. Julie just showed you the bag. I can see. All right, so I've got it here and I measured it right before we came on. So it's uh, 13 by 17 inches roughly. And so I have it loaded up here with fabric. It holds about 15 yards of fabric that's not cut. But the intention of it was really for the program for you to be making your blocks and use it as a project bag. But when you're done with the beautiful quilt, what are you gonna do with your bag? I mean, <laughs> You're going to store more tool or quilts that you're making in the bag, or you can, you know, store other things. I mean, I, I think it's a fantastic bag. So here it is again. I mean, beautiful bag, durable bag. Um, you will definitely find your tool project uh, if it's messed in with any of your other things on your sewing table. I know for me, I'd start digging through and 
Where is that? Well, I'll find it because the tool of that. And I also wanted to show this. This is a paper example of the label that's going to come with this. This is eight and a half inches by four and a half inches. And it says made with love by, and you would fill your name in. Um, and then it says the date started and the date finished. And it's intended to go on this nebula uh, block of the month. You know, the, the bag and the label will come with it if you purchase through your local retailer, but your local retailer needs to purchase these bags for the program. So if you're interested in that, like I said, please go out to your local quilt shop and, uh, you know, I tell them you want this. You need to have, they need to have them ordered by uh, August 1st. So Julie, I'd like to come back to you. And people are asking a lot of questions about your pillows and different things that they see sitting around. So I don't know where you'd like to begin. Sure, and I will give a heads up. It is trash day around here and I have the windows open because it's really hot. So if for some reason, it's loud to me, but I don't think you guys can hear it, but if it gets loud, please just let me know and I will close those windows because you don't need to hear my trash collection going on. <laughs> Hashtag real life. I am in my son's playroom. Anyone who uh, follows along with us on Instagram or Facebook knows this is the couch where I take his weekly pictures and you know, this is, this is my house, not a studio, so real life happening right here. So I have lots of Tula projects around me. You can see some of them and some of them are in front of me um, that are made from a variety of different patterns and rulers of mine. And I want to show you them. Like I said, if, um, if you're not familiar with my rulers or you're not totally comfortable yet, these are a great uh, way to become comfortable between now and January. That being said, if you already know my rulers and patterns, these just might give you some inspiration. Uh, Sharon mentioned I have some current things that are current fabric collections, and I'm also going to go back in time uh, to show you some older Tula things. I am, you know, one of the main Tula junkie, Tula troops, addict people. I will wear that <laughs> pride. I've known Tula for over 10 years, and I am, you know, I'd like to say I single-handedly keep her in business, but I don't think I buy that much fabric, but I buy a lot of it. There's, there's a good amount. I have a separate Tula closet that, for my fabric stash. True story. So... This pillow is called Lucky Charm, and it is made with Charm Pack. Um, and it is made with the hexamore, and it's one shape. It's just half hexagons. Nothing that I do has Y seams. I don't think I've said that yet. Quote behind me, no Y seams. Anything I'm about to show you, no Y seams, because they're just not fun. And people often, you know, when I give lectures, they'll be, well, you don't know how to do them. And I'm like, no, I know how to do them. I just don't want to spend my time doing them. I want to spend my time heading pretty fabrics and doing other things. So things might look like they have Y seams, no Y seams. So this pillow is all made up of half hexagons cut from Charm Pack. And it's a great opportunity if you have used Tula's Y backs to use up those weird scraps as a backing. So this is the 108 inch wide sateen from Homemade of the ruler. And so I love seeing the uh, comparison of this to the small scale of the same print on the front. So this super fun pillow and a lot of my stuff, most of my stuff's been quilted by Teresa or Angela, except for when you see some awesome straight lines like this, then you know I did it. This is my walking foot glory. So that is Lucky Charm. And behind Lucky Charm, I had to take this one off my bed. My husband has claimed this one, it's lived on our bed for a very long time. This is Glimmer. So Glimmer is actually a pattern um, that contains a pillow as well as quilts. And I'll show you a quilt at some point. It's in the pile here. So Glimmer, this one is made with salt water. And this is made using the um, Sidekick or Super Sidekick ruler. And this is similar in its construction to Nebula and the fact that it is one large star and there's six main pieces. So if you want to kind of get a preview for the overall construction of Nebula, Glimmer is a good pattern to get you up to speed. This is not where I would start if you're unfamiliar with my rulers. I would start back at Lucky Charm and some others that I'll show you. But Glimmer, if you're already familiar and you want to continue to step in, in that direction, Glimmer is a, a fun place to be. Spinning backwards toward the beginner stuff. Um, is this pair of pillows, which is also made from a charm pack. So these are the candy dish pillows and you get one of each from one charm pack. 
one where your focus is the hexagon and one where your focus is the triangles and your background is the hexagons. So they make a nice little set. And these are also a good opportunity if you're not using a charm pack, if you're working from your stash to fussy cut because Tula gives us such great, you know, motifs that can be fussy cut. Um, so like there's a little bumblebee from Bumble and there's the other little bumblebee. Um, so these candy dish pillows where the um, Lucky Charm uses one shape, this then moves you on to two shapes. This is a hexagon and a triangle. So this takes the hexamore ruler to the next step, gets you comfortable using two shapes. And then the last pillow that I've got here, I had to bring up from the living room because this one's been in the living room for a long time. This is um, Jawbreaker, which I, if my memory serves me right, was my first pillow pattern that I wrote. And uh, looks much more complicated than it is. It's actually just strip piecing and cutting triangles and then squaring it up. Um, most of my things don't have a border, but this has a border because um, I follow the mindset of, does it need a border? Does it need a border to hold it in to feel finished? Yes or no. And that's how I decide my quilts, if they have borders or not. Fun fact. Um, so this is Jawbreaker made out of Prince Charming. Julie, is there, uh, I'm just being funny or trying to be, is there a reason that was called Jawbreaker? <laughs> like you said it was your first pattern. So I'm just wondering if, you know, there was a lot of bubble gum snapping or. It was my first pillow pattern. So I will be honest, I do not name the majority of my quilts and uh, my patterns. That is not my strength. My strength is the designing, the math, all of that stuff. Um, so my quilts and my, whatnot had mostly to name my family. My husband's very proud he named Nebula and wants to make sure that I get him credit as much as possible that he named Nebula. Um, I don't know why this is called Jawbreaker and I don't remember who named it. It could have been um, my mom, Rachel, it, I, I don't remember. Um, but once once a quilt gets a name, it's kind of like a kid. Once a kid gets a name, you can't picture them with any other name. Like once a quilt gets a name, that's, that's their name. That's its name, yep. Yeah, so... Um, but I, I, know, I know the answer to why this is this name. Um, so this quilt, this next quilt I'm gonna show you is called Stereo. And it's a really good place to start with a super sidekick because you cut big triangles and big half triangles. And this quilt was called Stereo because that song was on the radio all the time. At the time that my heart's a stereo and it was just stuck in my head. So that's where the name for this quilt came. <laughs> Fun fact for you. So Stereo, this is made out of, um, Oh my God, why am I blanking? Oh, that's uh, Zuma. Zuma, <laughs> like it's in stores yeah. right now. Zuma, which you can still find a lot of places. So the original stereo is scrappy. With this one, I decided to color block and show off the oranges, the blues, and the greens within Zuma. This pattern gives you a good opportunity to be scrappy or to be color block. And like I said, it's large triangles. So it's a really good quilt to get some practice in with the super sidekick ruler. And you, this uses the 10 inch square packs, which um, if you're anything like me, when you go in a quilt shop, you pick up the two and a half inch rolls, the 10 inch and you pet them and then you buy them with no plan because they're cute and they're pretty and they're packaged very nicely and then they just sit on your shelf. Um, so take those free spirit 10 inch squares and you can whip together a stereo quilt. Um, I'm gonna pivot for a second. I have a bunch of my patterns here. If you, I keep saying if you're not familiar, because I, I feel like if you're familiar, you know all these things, but pardon me for saying that. Um, like I mentioned, my patterns are full color and how Nebula contains the three size options. The majority of my quilts contain many size options. So Stereo, the quilt I just showed you, if you look at the back has five size options ranging from baby to king and has all of that math in there because I'm a math nerd. I love the numbers, most of you don't. And I get that. So since it's my skill set, I do it for you. Um, so full color directions on how to cut using the ruler, how to do all the piecing, template option in case you're not ready to buy the ruler, and then diagrams for all the different sizes, as well as how many blocks, finished dimensions, all that good stuff. So. All my patterns are like this, full color, fully illustrated um, with the, and most of them have the size option. So this uh, Zuma one that I just showed you is a lap size. 
but if you want to make a baby or a king or whatever, you have you have options. I'll show it one more time. And then I have a whole bunch of more quilts to show you. So yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you. We're about halfway through, Julie. All right. Thank you for the update. Appreciate that. Um, <laughs> you is actually uh, not quilted yet and I have not shared a picture of this yet on my Facebook or my Instagram so you're getting the like debut here. And a I'm sneak peek? We're Carl. getting a sneak peek? Yes. <laughs> sneak. So this is Pula Pink's line work which is shipping September right? October of this October 2020 line work ships. So that's one of the fun parts of being a designer is I get the fabric early so that I can do things like this. Uh, so this is um, my science fair quilt made out of line work and Tula's stripes from her true colors, specifically just the stripes. So I think I'm gonna stand up on here so you can see it better. Don't fall. Oh, that's an easy count. But yes, thank you. I'll be good. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. So um, the background is her black, um, black on black print from line work that um, if you watched her about video, really shows um, some texture when you get up close as opposed to just being a solid black. And then I used all the other prints in the blocks and then I wanted pops of color. So I decided to use the stripes. Um, this quilt is made with two and a half inch strips plus background. So you just need the roll ups. Um, super, super fun strip piecing fast. This is a hexamore quilt um, and you practice by cutting two shapes. So this is once you've kind of mastered maybe the candy dish or Lucky Charm pillow, Science Fair is a good place to go next. I'm gonna, I don't know if you can see the black, the texture there of the black on black. Yeah, it looks and, great. And for those of you who are wondering like, how in the world did she do this with the Y seams? And I'll usually show the back, but I will show you the back. So it's all columns of half blocks. That's the big secret. And nice. I press my open um, because when you have a six degree shapes, you're not going to be nesting. So I find the most success pressing open. If you don't want to try press open, that's all good. You can do, you can do you, but I, I suggest pressing open. I find things lay flattest that way. And Julie, the machine quilter probably appreciates that as well. Uh, I think so. Yeah, because uh, you're probably not busting needles as they go through that intersection. So another line work, and this one is just line work, nothing else added. This is Tiny Dancer. And Tiny Dancer is a hexamore quilt that uses two shapes and is made from fat quarters. Um, you get two blocks from each fat quarter. So this specific quilt was made from the fat quarter bundle for this collection. Because this collection is smaller, has, has less prints. So this is a baby size of Tiny Dancer and I love when you get up close all the little details you can see that she put into things. So this is a fun one. I'm excited to send this off to Teresa and see what she does with it. So that's Tiny Dancer. Yeah, that's beautiful. Julie, what was the name of the one you had shown us right before that? Science Fair. Science Fair, okay. Yep. Somebody had asked what that one was called. No problem. So this is probably a good time to just mention um, I don't currently sell direct. Um, so if you're wondering where to go buy these, um, my advice is your local quilt shop, whether that be your favorite online quilt shop, your favorite in-person near you quilt shop, ask them if they have the pattern in stock. Um, specifically Hawthorne Supply Company online. They're based out of New York. They carry every single one of my patterns. They are my first stockist ever uh, 10 years ago and they still to this day carry every one of my patterns. Um, so if you're looking for these and you go to my website and you're like, where the heck do I buy them? And she doesn't have a buy now button. That's why. And the reason I don't have a buy now button is, um, I like to support shops. Um, I came from shops. I worked in a shop and, uh, I want shops to survive and that's where you buy your fabric and where you get everything else. So I rely on them to sell my stuff versus selling it to you direct. I'm just the, uh, the cheerleader, the information, the resource, but not the, the, the store, if that makes sense. Hope that makes sense. Yes, makes perfect sense. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> um, should we show more quilts? Yes, but before, yeah, before you do, there's been some questions about the quilt behind me. 
Okay, so, perfect. Um, I know it's called Night Sky. And Julie, would you like to talk a little bit more about it since you made it? I will. Um, so Sharon has been babysitting my quilt. I miss it very much. And I will hold up another night sky to show you. So this night sky, kind of the opposite of the one behind Sharon. This one has a dark background. Uh, this is from Tula's Foxfield collection. Um, so night sky is a quilt me with the sidekick ruler, um, or you could use a super sidekick and it's a good one once you've um, tried out something, maybe after you do stereo, you could tackle night sky. It's fat quarters. Um, so the one behind Sharon is made with the True Colors Fat Quarter Bundle. Um, this is the, she has the twin size if she backed all the way out. It's really, really big behind her. And I'm going to post pictures soon so you guys can see that. This one is the um, lap size, which has 16, 16 bucks, 20 bucks. Why do I not know right now? I think it's one or the other. I think it's 20. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have a lot of quilts, Julie. That's all right. <laughs> and it, you'll see that a lot of, a lot of my quilts like Science Fair, Tiny Dancer, um, Night Sky have finished this way. Um, I don't like to chop the points off. You can add fillers if that's how you, but I go over the binding of how to do these angles um, in the pattern. They're really not that hard and it kind of just adds a fun um, little touch to your quilts. So yeah, so this quilt is Night Sky and it, I will warn you it's addicting. Um, if you follow me online, you will see I've made Night Sky more times than I can count. Um, I've made it in Tula twice now. I've made it in solids. I'm making one for my son um, out of a whole bunch of old fabrics. And uh, it's it's a lot of fun to make. The stars are addicting. Um, so that is Night Sky. That's awesome. And did you tell us what fabric that was made from? This one is Foxfield. Foxfield, um, yes, you did say that earlier. I'm not familiar with that. Was that one of Tula's? Early uh, is free spirit. I, I don't have the I don't have the year. Everything I'm showing you is Tula and it's free spirit. I don't know the years and all of these. Um, but yeah, they go back. I know our first line with us was Parisville. Correct. But I didn't start with the company till 2015. So anything before that, I'm not 100 percent up on. And I don't have a Parisville quote with me because I gave it to my mother because I love her. Oh, that's a nice gift. And then the second collection, I believe, was Prince Charming, but pretty early on there was um, Saltwater. And this quilt is made from Saltwater and it is called Lotus. And they're big triangle blocks made with the Hexamore ruler. Um, so this is another good one to move on to once you start to feel comfortable with the ruler. And it's another fun opportunity this line didn't have as much of fussy cut, but you have a big shape here. This is the jewel, which is basically the equivalent of a hexagon with a triangle attached to it as one single piece. The jewel is a nice opportunity to be able to fussy cut and show off certain things. So yeah, so this is salt water. So this one, I think, says 2012 on the back. So the eight years old. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, it goes back a little while there. Yeah, um, it's beautiful. <laughs> Another another golden oldie is a really good quilt to start out with with the hexamore, which is called Northern Lights. And it's just one shape. It looks way more complicated than it is, but it is just made up of the half hexagon. And it's all rows and it's how you shift them that you create these really cool vertical zigzags. But it doesn't go together vertically, it goes together horizontally. It's kind of like an optical illusion. And then um, I'm gonna flip it over and show you the back because you can kind of, like some video, see the quilting probably even better on the back is my Teresa quilted each column with its own motif, which kind of emphasizes the, the single color column even more. Um, so yeah, this is, sometimes I like to back them in solid so you can see the quilting. Cause as I say, you pay them to quilt both sides. You know? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so this is Acacia, which is there a year on the back of this one? Uh, I didn't put a year, so it's been a while. <laughs> Um, so a more recent one that I will show you is, um, once you've reached the confident intermediate headed towards advanced level is my book alphabet soup. So I came out with alphabet soup, um, before Nate was born. So he's not my model on the cover. Instead, it's my niece and my nephew. So alphabet soup is a book that I came out with in 2017. 
that has A through Z, as well as all the numbers and a variety of products you can make from it. You can make a quilt, you can make signs, you can make a table runner, um, all these different fun things with the letters. It's, it's a super great way to personalize. Um, and what I did with it was I combined Tula's wide back and put it on the front instead of just having it on the back. And I made letters and I made Nate a quilt that has his name on it with Tula's giant bananas. So this is definitely on the more um, advanced side because there's a lot of small pieces, but it's um, once you get a hang of how the rulers work, uh, most people have told me that, you know, it's addicting. It's like potato chips once you pop, can't stop. And <laughs> Aaron can attest to the uh, complicatedness of this quilt because she herself made a matching one for her grandson. So yes, I did. So Julie was kind enough when after, when I saw that one, and um, I was expecting we were expecting our first grandson. I love that quilt, and so Julie was kind enough to create the pattern. And his name was Leo is Leo James, and so I wanted both names on the quilt. And so Julie uh, designed it for me, and I made that same exact quilt for him. And it was really I, I just think. You know, you could say, oh, I'm going bananas over my new little monkey or, <laughs> yeah. you know, I just thought it was like the perfect quilt. So it, that's great, Julie. So not, for another a, great inspiration. Yeah. So the directions for a single line quilt, the letters are in the book, but the directions of how to make this quilt are free. Um, if you go to bonus.jaybirdquilt.com. And if you happen to have a two name and you need help with that, shoot me an email and I can send you what I sent over to Sharon so that you could have two names right on top of each other. Um, but this is, this is Nate's quilt. And then of course, um, if you're a parent, you know, you, the whole burnt toast thing, you always give more stuff to your kids than to yourself. I decided I wanted one for myself and it's very rare that I start a quilt knowing it's for myself. And in this case I did. And so I used tools homemade because it's fitting for us sewists and I made uh, mine. Yeah. Had to bring this upstairs this was living on the couch because i literally snuggle with this quilt every night now because it's mine no one else can claim it it's mine it says julie yes, yes <laughs> that's awesome julie i love that one too and how so, perfectly done in the homemade collection too yeah so if you look close up basically the letters are made up of triangles and diamonds and half triangles and half hexagons and all different shapes um to make up the letters and and then you can do anything with the letters once you have them made. Um, so this is my quilt. Um, so where are we at on time? Oh wait, did you want me to show? We're at about uh, 15 minutes left, but I also have this one. Do you want to talk about yeah, this one? Yeah, you're upside down. You're what? upside down. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry everybody, I'm upside down. But if Julie's talking, I don't know that they'll see this. So Julie made this one, this is in homemade. Yeah, I'll let Julie, I'll let you talk about it in a second. Can they all see it pretty well? So Julie made this for us. We had it at a, a trade show. I don't even remember when that was. I guess it was last October. And um, she made this using her alphabet soup book as well. And Julie, do you want to say anything more about this piece? Because when I'm talking, they can't see you. Yeah, so the one that Sharon just held up is a perfect example of you don't have to do the same color for all the letters. So I wanted to use more of Tula's homemade. So I used two different colors in each letter and you just use two colors that kind of will read as one letter, but have some contrast when you get up close. Um, so yeah, so there's that one. And then another one I'm gonna have Sharon hold up is a table topper called Rock Candy, which is my one of my number one selling patterns. It's a super fun one to start out with the sidekick ruler. If you wanna tell people a little bit about the fabrics. Yes, so um... Like Julie just said, this is rock candy. I hope you can see it pretty well. And this is made out of the homemade fabrics again. And uh, this is a nice table topper. Um, I mean, Julie, this, you know, we've talked about this in the office and how great this would be is like even like a cake stand, you know, just in your kitchen. I mean, to put a cake stand on it, how beautiful it would be if you made it for a specific event or something or make one for your uh, quilting friend out of the homemade collection you know it's a great gift it, it works out quickly right Julie oh very quickly and it is um addicting I've made over 25 plus rock candies over the years at this point because they're fast and they're fun and they're a great way to use up your scraps 
similar um, table topper that finishes at the same size, but different in its uh, appearance and construction is Nova. And uh, this Nova is made from Tula's original True Colors, so her palms and stripes. Um, so this one is also the uh, sidekick ruler. It's got diamonds and the half triangles make these fun points. Um, and I am a sucker for a striped binding, as many are. In this case, I went with straight to green. I often do a lot of bias. Um, but this is a nice, fun one to use up scraps. Because that's the other thing is I didn't want you to have a ton of fabric left over with Nebula, but I also didn't want you to run short. So generally speaking, you're going to be left with scraps here and there. And you're going to have enough scraps to make um, a pillow or a rock candy or a Nova, whatever you want. Or you can just throw them in your scrap bin. But if you want to make something that goes along matching, you you will have the opportunity to do so. Um, so Julie, are you saying then with that when they're making the Nebula quilt, that if they have extra scraps, they would have the ability to make that rock candy? Yes, absolutely. There's definitely enough fabric left over um, to make the rock candy because I made sure that you have enough in case you do a little miscut here or there or you know, depending on how your um, fat eighth is printed, if you want to fussy cut, move things around. So. Yeah. Now that's great because if somebody's making that, you know, for, for a queen or a king size bed and they have extra fabric, they could make nightstand or bureau covers as well, you know, in the same fabric. So that's a, that's a great um, bonus on top of it. So thank you for telling us that. Of course. Absolutely. Um, so another one I want to show you, I mentioned earlier, the pillow is Glimmer. So this is the one that I said, if that goes together in a similar construction to Nebula, with the six pieces to make a big giant star. So if you kind of want to just familiarize yourself with that or just try something out, you don't have to go as big as Queen. Um, Glimmer comes in a mug rug, pillow, baby quilt, and then two other larger quilts. This is the baby quilt. Um, and this is Tula's Elizabeth collection from, it looks like 2014, 2015. Um, so nice big star and these are strip pieced to get this and then you cut big diamonds. The construction is the same for all of the glimmer quilts, the size just changes. Um. Uh, Julie, uh, Rebecca Starry said that the nebula, the scraps and the rock candy or maybe even any extra scraps would make nice pillows for the bed as well. I, yeah, that I certainly should have said that before I said anything about the nightstand. <laughs> I don't think because I don't make any promises, but there might be a nebula bonus pillow and it might be downstairs and I might be trying to figure out how to put it and fit it in a pattern, but I make no promises oh. because you're still doing the math. Well, I, well, no, the pillow itself is fine. Just trying to fit it in the pattern. The pattern is thick and I'm running out of pages. Um, but one way or another, we, we will figure it out because there is a pillow and it is adorable and you will see it at one point and it is made with scraps and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> wow. So if people are watching today, they just got a little tip, didn't they? You didn't even know about that. I hadn't even I didn't that. know about that. <laughs> the only person that knew about that before right now is Rachel, who's probably going, why is she telling people now we have to make it happen? I love you, Rachel. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We always do. Um, and if we don't, we'll make it available in some other way because it exists. I'm just, I don't want to guarantee it's going to fit in there because um, it might not. Who knows? Yeah. The pattern. Uh, people who are emailing me at what pattern now, what the pattern now, I want it now too. I'm almost done writing it. You can't have it now because I haven't finished writing it yet. Um, I'm fine tuning it and tweaking it and sending it out to testers and editors to make sure it is fantastic and fabulous uh, for you. Um, another one I want to show you that looks a lot harder than it is, uses a super sidekick and three fabrics, or you can do a scrappy is ribbon candy and this one um shows off pinkerville um picked three purples knew that i was making this quilt for my mom she lent it back to me for today um but this one um you cut really big diamonds after you make strip pieces and then put them together for a really bold striking um i called it ribbon candy um because you know it has that twist but it's kind of a, a log cabin that gets stretched you know, with 60 degree shapes and um, backed it with Tula's big wide back. Um, and I'm pretty sure this purple is the same one that is on the back of my Nebula. Um, this one works great on the back of Nebula. Tula's new sketchier 
that goes with um, line, line work. work would look great on the back of Nebula. You obviously can piece it um, from regular yardage or you can use a wide back. Um, Tula has lots of fun, fun options of wide backs available. Um, but so this is really handy. Yeah, Julie, I just wanted to talk to the viewers quickly about the 108 uh, wide backs that we do carry. So oh. as, as Julie mentioned, Tula has a number of 108 inch uh, wide backs. Uh, we've got three colors in that came from her Pinkerville, Pinkerville collection. And she just recently um, with line work released another one called Sketchy Er. And um, they're beautiful sateen, 100% cotton 108 inch wide backs, like I said, and if you haven't ever used them, I'd strongly recommend that you go out and take a look um, at your local quilt shop, ask them if they have it. Uh, the feel of them is fantastic. And I mean, they're just so silky smooth when you touch them as well. So Julie, it looks like we have about like eight minutes left. So, and I see you have a huge pile of quilts there. So <laughs> we're gonna have to have you come back for another inspired by. We're not gonna make through all, which is okay. Um, but this one I wanted to show is another big, large star. And this one, um, a pink wide back we were talking oh, about. Oh yeah. Yep. This one is all made out of Tula solids and palms and stripes. Um, so this star, it, star is called Nourish. And if you followed along with my journey, it's called Nourish. Um, because it was kind of a really big turning point for me. I, uh, unfortunately suffered from postpartum depression and whatnot after my son was born and this quilt, designing this quilt was nourishment to my soul. And uh, so that's where the naming of this one comes from. So yeah. Wow, thanks for sharing that with us, Julie. Yeah, I've been very open with my, my experience because I think we need to talk about these things more. And I agree. I wanna show the viewers this quick, Julie, because you just showed that quilt, so. This is our uh, free spirit reorderable catalog and uh, on the back is the quilt in the true colors and uh, palms, palms, right? Palms and yeah. solids. And there's Nate. Nate looks there's a little different now. You look very similar, Julie, but Nate's changed quite a bit. Yeah, baby, <laughs> little chunky baby Nate. For anyone who's wondering, he's with his grandma right now. Uh, that's why he has not popped his head in. Um, it would have been impossible to do this with him here as amazing and wonderful as he is. Um, one more that I wanted to show you, um, this kind of goes back to why I designed my rulers, is I love grandmother's flower garden and lots of EPP things. And I think Tula is amazing for what she does with them. And I just know that it, I don't have the patience and the time to finish any of them. So I like to work in large scale and figure out a way to machine piece things and have a similar feel. So this quote is called Delight. And Delight is made with the hexamore and it's big eight inch hexagons which work really good for fussy cutting. This is Tula's Moonshine. And these hexagons are actually half cream, half blue, and they're pieced. And that's how we avoid the Y seams is by having those pieced ones. Um, so Delight is actually made from hexagons and triangles, and then you make really large triangle blocks. Um, so you get the grandmother's flower garden appeal and feel just in a really, really large scale. Um, it is also, like I said, a really good opportunity to fussy cut because Tula, Tula gives us so many gorgeous things and you just don't want to chop up that little deer, you know? You want to be able to see all of the glory that she has spent her time intricately drawing. So there's, there's the little deer. So I That's have one of my favorite. The um, Grandmother's Flower Garden is one of my favorites as well, Julie. So I, I like your thinking and making it quick on the sewing machine. Yes. <laughs> I want to see it in my lifetime, right? I, I, I admire all the English paper pieces, you know, people that do all the EPP quilts. But, um, you know, for me, I want to see it. I want to see it soon and quickly. <laughs> so, Julie, uh, to wrap up today's session, I was wondering if you'd just like to do another quick rundown talking about the Nebula quilt, or is there anything else that you wanted to touch on before we... I don't want to forget to do the giveaway. So we are doing a giveaway. So um, if you can leave a comment saying um, which quilt you want to make, um, that will enter you in the giveaway. And then Sharon will figure out how the 
the winner is picked. Um, and what you will win is a copy of the Night Sky Pattern, which is the one behind Sharon, a Sidekick Ruler, which is the original small one, and Free Spirit is giving you the Fat Quarter Bundle that is needed to make the quilt behind um, Sharon. So you will get the whole kit and caboodle so that you can go ahead and make your own Night Sky Quilt. So super, super cool prize. Thank you, Free Spirit, for partnering up with me on that. So go ahead and leave a comment and you can say, you want to make Nebula, you want to make Delight, you want to make Ribbon Candy, Science Fair, Northern Lights, whatever, whichever one you want to make. Um, just go ahead and let me know because I'm curious what you want to make. Um, and as Sharon said, Nebula, that's what we started talking about behind me, Block of the Month. And if you joined us a little late, um, shops only have till August 1st, uh, which is rapidly approaching. My son's going to be two in the beginning of August and I'm not ready for that. Um, so if you're interested, let a shop know right now and get yourself um, on board so they know how many kits to order so that you don't miss out. It'll all be starting in January. And in January, um, not sure on the exact format yet, but I will post on Facebook and Instagram, I'm gonna be filming monthly videos to be your cheerleader and to um, be available and around to answer questions and help. And uh, I'm gonna make the quilt again. I'm gonna sew along with you. I'm looking forward to that. So, um, I will be available. Um, like I said, I don't sell direct. Please reach out to your local quilt shop and tell them what pattern you want, what rule you want, and get it from them. And if you have questions, that's what I'm here for. Um, my I'm Jaber Quilt everywhere on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. Um, my email is jaybirdquilt at gmail.com. Um, and it's, so it's pretty easy to find me everywhere you go. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. Um, for Nebula, excited to be doing this with all of you um, and excited to help you guys get there. So if you want any more information on which patterns I recommend for you to try between now and then to up your skill set with the rulers, um, I can provide that information again, or you can rewatch this video. Um, but you might not want to hear me talk for another hour. Uh, I don't want to talk for that long. So I can you know, make the, the Cliff Notes version. Um, but yeah, I. I'm, I'm very excited. I hope you're as excited as I am. We are, Julie. So thank you so much for joining us today and uh, love seeing all of your quilts. They're fantastic. I want to thank our viewers for joining in this week for Inspired By. Um, again, Julie just already said this. I'm just going to hit, hit a couple of the highlights. This is a 10-month block of the month program that starts in January of 2021. Seems weird to be saying that already. And um, it will be uh, delivered in three months to the quilt shops that do participate in this program. So uh, again, if you are interested in this, please reach out to your local quilt shop, make them aware that you are, if you were already bought it, great, thank you. If you were thinking about it, I would definitely get to them soon because their cutoff is coming. And again, we showed you this gorgeous label that you'll get. I mean, this is the paper version, but you could definitely imagine it in uh, fabric and this fantastic bag that will also come with it that has a multiple use purpose, certainly for when you're working on the quilt and afterwards and your friends that didn't participate will be very envious. <laughs> They're gonna want the bag. You can probably sell it for a lot of money. Um, but anyway, so thank you everybody for joining us. Thank you, Julie. Julie, you did such a fantastic job uh, designing this quilt. Julie, I'm gonna put us both on now so everybody can see both of us. Um, as we say goodbye. And thank you for sharing uh, your, your trunk show uh, and the history of all the different quilts you've done. We appreciate at Free Spirit that you are such a Tula troop or a Tula junkie or a Tula, uh, what else are we calling you? <laughs> but we appreciate that you love her. We know we have many, many viewers that love her as well. Her fabrics and designs are gorgeous. And look at this close up that Julie's showing us of the Nebula quilt. The quilting is gorgeous on that. Um, the design, the fabrics, I mean, everything about that comes together beautifully. I mean, you can totally see that on your quilt, you know, in your bedroom. It's very, very dynamic, um, beautiful piece, Julie. So thank you for designing that for us. We appreciate it. And as Julie said, if you have any questions, please reach out to her. If you have any questions about the fabrics, reach out to Free Spirit Fabrics. You can find us at freespiritfabric.com. Um, next week, we will be here 
with uh, Marilyn Foreman. She did a block of the month for us out of William Morris Fabrics. So she will be here showing that block of the month if you're interested to look at another block of the month. Um, but that's what we'll be inspired by will be next week. And as Julie said, this week's giveaway is let us know what you, it's, it's the quilt behind me, it's the night sky where you're supplying all the fabrics to make this in a twin size. And uh, Julie's gonna send the pattern and the ruler to make it. So let us know which of Julie's patterns you find the most interesting um, and you'd like to make next, uh, you know, including Nebula, of course, but if there are any others that you'd like to know uh, or that you'd like to make, uh, let us know what they are. So uh, let me see, everyone's saying it's gorgeous. Thank you, love Tula. Oh my goodness, deciding which Jaybird quilt patterns to make with which Tula pink fabric is so hard. That's from Kim Ratchford. Uh, thank yous in here for the opportunities for Sewers to see the uh, Inspired By series. So thank you everybody. We appreciate you tuning in every week and we will be here again next week at three o'clock. Thank you, Julie, we love you. Can, you. can you show us your face? Oh, you're just giving us a hand, peace out. Sorry with the iPad, it's like too close up, but yeah, I can show you guys my face. So yeah, thank you guys for having me and letting me, you know, pop into your homes for a little bit today and I uh, hope everyone's having a good day. Yes, thank you, Julie. Have a great one. Bye. Talk to you soon. Sounds good.